Hello there everyone, Helena from Scratch here and we are in the midst of spooky season. It's my favourite kind of year, um, time of year. I absolutely love Halloween and uh, I'm very excited that we're going to be joined today by someone who's built their entire brand around being a haunted nail artist, uh, the very aptly named Trick or Treat Nails. So Alana of Trick or Treat Nails will be joining us and uh, she will be doing a nail art demo and I believe it's going to be on ghosts. So in and we'll look forward to that and we'll learn a little bit more about Alana and then uh, you can ask any questions as you go along. Uh, so please do pop them in the comments box. This demo will also be saved to our IGTV and uh, our website as well. So um, don't fear if you miss a little bit and you'll watch it on recap or you've got to shoot, then uh, don't worry, this will all be saved. So Alana, I am trying to invite her in now. If you can see me, Alana, please come in or request very looking forward to seeing your nail art design yeah i believe it's going to be on ghost so um i think this might be one of alana's first uh live sessions so very excited for that there we go i'm sure she is on her way soon Don't forget to follow her in the meantime. Trick or treat nail. She is coming in now. Hello, Alana. Hello. How are you? Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I don't know how to get in. Hello. <laughs> so you're nervous, you're here now. I'm looking fabulous. Very Jessica Rabbit-esque. Thank you. Can you hear me? <laughs> we can all perfectly. Okay. Okay. So, welcome to Hello. Instagram Live. Um, so for those that kind of, I'm following you already, but definitely will be after this. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into the nail industry. Um, so I still have another job. I got furloughed from my job and it was one of those things, you know, when you just, I was sitting around and I always used to get my nails done and I literally had nothing to do. Mm. And I just thought, I'm just going to buy a nail kit. And that was it. Literally the obsession began. Um, I just thought, there's always nail ideas in my head that I wanted that no one could ever like achieve for me. Mm -hmm. It's just like the weird kind of things I like. So yeah, I literally just bought a nail kit and just the obsession began from there. There was, yeah, it was just from last May, I think. So still hobbying at the moment, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I mean, I work in a salon two days a week mm -hmm. and I do my press-ons as well. And yeah, I'm trying to make it more of a full-time thing, but it's, it's tough but we're getting there yeah, yeah absolutely so yeah. it's them um, i mean some of the designs you've, you've created mm -hmm. as well like you're looking at your instagram feed they're yeah. just really quirky really kind of outside of the box and yeah you yourself as a, a haunted nail artist so what <laughs> do you love most about you know um spooky designs halloween how would you describe yourself and why do you love it I don't know. It's just, there's no reason why I love it. It's just something that I've always just been really obsessed with. Mm -hmm. I just absolutely love horror films. It's one of my favourite things to do is to go to the cinema and watch them. Um, and Halloween's just always just been such a huge thing for me. Mm -hmm. Just every year, I just love just how everyone can just create anything, become anything, just yeah. for one night. It's, it's just great. And do you have a signature that you like to create uh, on now as a signature kind of look or style? Yeah, so I think my ghost face is like my favourite thing because that is my all-time favourite film. I'm obsessed. Um, so I usually try and do him quite a lot. I just quite enjoy painting him as well. Like he's, he's just amazing. <laughs> uh, what's going to be the demo today? I was going to do my ghosts because it's quite simple and I thought I don't want to do anything too pressured for me and also for anyone who's watching that doesn't do nails it's quite easy to follow um so it's kind of like my little it's quite effective cute so it's my little little you, DCR. oh I like it yeah so we'll <laughs> give them a go I'm nervous we'll see <laughs> I'm sure it'll be great. Thank you so much for doing it for oh, it's us. Okay. okay, thank you for having me. It's great. Um, so if you wanted to kind of uh, set up your camera for the mm -hmm. demo, and yeah. then uh, to anyone that's kind of watching now, um, obviously Halloween's a great time to sort of make a bit of a yeah. mark services, like nail art. If, if your client hasn't necessarily booked in enough time for nail art, then you can add elements of design and try and charge a markup if you've got five minutes towards the end maybe you could 
there with the ghost face for example or, yeah exactly how much do you charge kind of per nail for nail art per nail it really depends I wouldn't have a set price I usually with my clients I get them to send me their inspiration and their ideas and then I can kind of gather like the time frame that I will need um mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't ever set just a, a price because something can be so simple and something can be so like more difficult yeah. but um I don't know maybe the ghost depending if it was on natural between like 30 to 40 it yeah. really depends on how many also they want if they want it on all nails if they want it on a couple yeah 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 and well I think we should crack up the demo okay then. I'll try and set up quickly <laughs> bear with me brilliant thank you while you're doing that and just mention to anyone that's joining just uh, follow trick or treat nails after after this I mean Alana's already a thousand followers so uh, uh, go and take a look at her profile after the live uh, as I mentioned that this will be saved to our IGTV and our uh, website and also on our facebook page as well so you can revert back to it you can slow it down as we go um it's there for your pleasure and at your leisure so brilliant stuff so i think we we've got a great shot there of Is that okay perfect perfect right okay. i'm gonna turn my camera off now so we can fully focus on uh, on the nail design Okay. Are you going to let me know if anyone asks any questions? Because okay. I can't see. <laughs> oh, yeah. So if you wouldn't mind just talking through sort of what you're doing as you're yeah. doing. You know, yeah. Come okay. Perfect. Um, I prepped two of the nails anyway, but I used the nail order. They've come out with their own um, nail order extensions. Bear with me, I can show quick. So I can use these for my press-ons and I also use these for my actual gel extensions because they're really good. Um, so I've prepped a couple of those. I prepped just the black face and I did a couple of coats with the gel bottle, uh, just the jet black, because I find it's the best. Usually it's got good coverage. Um, I'm more than happy to go through and paint another black nail. I just didn't know how prepared I needed to be. Just no, in case I need. <laughs> we're good i think a lot of our techs watching this will be familiar with with perfect self no that's fine that's perfect okay. yeah so i prep just a couple um and usually with this main colors i ever use on any nails is black white and sometimes i use the glass black for a bit of shading but i don't no. think i'll use that today um also you will need blooming gel so i have the gel bottle blooming gel um I assume if you don't have blooming gel, you might be able to just use top coat from what I'm aware of. I've never tried it, but it's just to help with the effect. Yeah. If um, anyone has any alternatives or top tips, then please do feel free to pop them in the comments as we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I've never tried an alternative to blooming gel, but I think a lot of nail techs do say if you don't have it, you can use, um, you can use top coat, I think. Awesome. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it's just, just really, really quick. It's really simple um, for anybody who, oh my gosh, I need to try and paint on top. For anyone who's not really into nail art, I think anyone can kind of do this. Mm -hmm. So I'm just painting a quick layer of the blooming gel on, um, just a very fine layer. And you don't cure this, you literally just go straight on with top of this. Um, also have your colours out prepped. So I usually just have my black and my white on a little palette ready. Yeah. Just because it's quite quick. On a very <laughs> themed palette there, I could. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually hate spiders. They are disgusting. But I don't mind them in this palette. And they're kind of cute because there's a bit of glitter in there. Don't mind them. <laughs> we've, we've also been told that base coat is a great alternative. To oh, really? A few people oh, cool. have said Yeah. I'll have to give it a go. It can all my brushes with skanky. Um, I use it quite a lot. So, right, I've got my blooming gel on. I'm going to try and paint it. If you wouldn't mind just um, pushing the nail just back down. Perfect. Thank Is you. Is that okay? That's all right. So your blooming gel's on. I'm just going to go in with the white. And literally, there's no way to do this. I just kind of smudge it on. It's sort of the only way to explain it. Um, just kind of like a ghost shape. So I usually start like at the top. Just do like the little head. You have to work quite quick sometimes. And then I literally just drag it down. 
just like that can you see and then the ghost placement i just sort of like put them nearish each other just sort of it gives it a bit of a smoky effect okay, when they're closer putting on this size nail tip how many ghosts oh i don't know <laughs> see, see when you see like oh he's kind of like getting that sort of smoky effect around him with the blooming gel and it kind of just gives it a bit more of a a spooky effect i would say i'm just gonna put three i think you can put as many as you want um it depends it just depends really yeah this is quite quick and i just drag it out so i kind of make it just a little bit frayed at the end mm -hmm. just give him a bit of effect and then before curing i like to go straight in with a bit of black so i have my black ready just because i like the way it drags down Mm. So I have a tiny bit of black on my nail and then I literally, for the eyes, I just blob it and drag again. Blob it and drag. And then I do another little one for the mouth. You don't, I don't always give him a mouth, but I just, sometimes I do. <laughs> and again, can you see? I think the beauty is because the blooming gel, you know, really disperses the, the white. Yeah. Color. You, you, it doesn't have to be a perfect design. The beauty no. is in the fact it is quite fluid. Yeah, exactly. And I like that it gets really kind of like smoky on the out. So it just looks, it just looks really cool. And then again, drag his eyes down and another one. And yeah, it's a really, really quick design, but I think it's really effective. So effective. And again, if you're doing it in a, in the salon it's it's just a quite quick nail art that you could charge quite a bit but yeah but it looks like it's hours because of that smoky effect mm. the back, it looks like you've really had to kind of build up the color but the beauty yeah. of the nail is that it just has kind of done that bit for you and you could just concentrate on your placement and adding those spooky little eyes and eyes and mouth yeah but he looks really cool and after i would do this i would usually yeah just cure it for 60 seconds and then top coat or well, sometimes i would go in with a bit of glitter just between the lines to break them up so you can use like mm. a black glitter or you can use um just any kind of glitter that you want just to get, add a bit of sassiness to the ghosts Love that. yeah it depends you can always leave like the bloom and gel you don't have to cure straight away like you say with this one his mouth's kind of expanded mm -hmm. i'm just leaving it but yeah they're really, really cute. They're really fun to do, especially if you do your full set. They're really, really effective. That looks absolutely. I really love them. So, no, thank you so much. They look really good. So, what does okay. your clients been requesting in the run up to Halloween? Um, they've been requesting a lot of like blood nails, um, ghost pumpkins. Uh, what else? A couple of ghost faced. And I've had a lot of press on orders as well um, for people in America that obviously can't come to the salon, which I think mm -hmm. is really quite cool. I'm really thankful for that. Um, everyone has really different ideas. Usually they send me loads of pictures of just a mixture and mm -hmm. I just kind of put them all together. But yeah, here he is. How effective that looks. That's lovely. That's really, it's a very really, cute really... design. Yeah, it's really, really cute, really quick. And again, you don't have to be really good at art. I just think it's really effective and I feel like anyone can do this even if you're a beginner and yeah. I just think it's something really nice to like practice or learn on yeah. I think this was one of the ghosts I actually started with when I um, started my nail journey last year mm. I think it was one of the first designs I just sat down and did and ever since and I've just loved him my fave. question i think someone joined a little bit later but said um can you just um briefly just go through the steps just verbally about when you apply the blooming gel and when you cured yeah i mean i can do another one if you want they don't take long if somebody Let's missed go, should we do one ghost on the next yeah one? right we yeah can we can do a bigger one. one yeah no problem so you would apply your black lay i always go with a black base coat just because again i find it really effective with the smokiness that comes out i've never really tried it on any other base color um i, I assume it, yeah cool. i assume it would work on anything really yeah anything dark i would say anything a bit lighter i'm not too sure if it would be as mm. effective um but yeah just grab your bloom and gel i guess your base coat 
and just a very fine quick layer you wouldn't cure this you would literally just pop this on i never like the smell of blooming gel it's quite strange <laughs> <laughs> Do two coats of um, black shade and cure. I see. Yeah, exactly. So I would do the two coats of the jet black um, or any black that you have, um, mm -hmm. depending on the pigment, depends on how many layers you need to do. Yeah. Um, cure that. Um, and then I would go straight in with just one layer of blooming gel. Yeah. So just one, one quick layer. Again, you wouldn't cure it. Um, just leave it as it is. And then go straight in with your white. Or you could, again, you could do any colour ghost, really. Mm -hmm. You could do some sort of neon ones if you wanted. Um, yeah, and then, bear with me. Yeah, neon would be cool. Yeah, I think I saw somebody do neons and they tagged me and they looked really quite effective as well. Um, yeah, not cured. And then we just, again, sort of like round it off the top. Make it a bit more fuller at the top. And then I just kind of drag it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. I like kind of dragging it and making it a bit frayed. Yeah. So it's a bit different. Um, also, again, with the blooming dough, it kind of spreads in between, which gives it a bit more of an effect. Mm. Someone's just suggested adding uh, a neon pigment into the white so that they glow. Could do glow in the dark. Yeah, so I did try the um, a pigment from world of glitter mm. the only thing i would suggest with it is if it's a powder it goes a little bit gritty so with the blooming gel it i struggled a little bit more with it however it did work but it's just a little bit more difficult to work with yeah interesting to know sometimes yeah. you test these things haven't you and see, find out what works for you with the product range. yeah exactly and because with um, the glow in the dark pigments, you're never too sure how much to put in. So I just kind of go a bit OTT and end up pouring too much in and it glows too much, but it's fine. So I've left him for a little minute just to um, let the blooming gel work. Again, don't cure. If you've got a bit of black, I usually just grab a dot, put it on his face and drag it down. Again, if you can see another one. Drag again. You don't have to add a, a, a mouse, sorry. I just tend to because I just I think it's a bit more effective. I'll put it on my foot. Completes that ghosty look, I think. Yeah. Look. Again, just a little line and drag him down. And get a bit messy. That's mm -hmm. fine. And yeah. And there he is. There he is, a little ghost. Again, you can leave it a little bit for um, the eyes to sort of spread out a bit in the mouth or you can just go straight in and cure it depending on how you like how it looks. Um, yeah, a couple of little ghosts. Sometimes I do like just a little ghost peeping out of the top. So we'll just do his eyes. So then he sort of like goes down into the tip. Um, but I think he looks quite well on his own as well. But it's a bit more effective, I think, when you do a couple just because mm. they will sort of like blur into one. Mm. It's nice to see the mix and the, and the two together. It's just such an effective idea for it yeah. hasn't taken that long to do. So no. I imagine people watching this will be getting their base coats out or buying some blue. Yeah, um, well, I hope people give it a go because I think it's really cute. And I do think it's such just a simple Halloween idea. And it's a full set of these are just really pretty. I've done press on a full set, but I haven't had a client have them. And I'd really love to do it on somebody. So if anyone's watching. Yeah. <laughs> i'm sure we'll be seeing ghost faces on the nails of so many people now uh, in time for next week so alana thank you so much for showing thank us you for video. having me that's been awesome so everyone go and follow her trick or treat nails and as mentioned this Hi. will be all of our platforms and i think all that's left to say is have a wonderful halloween prep period oh thank you so much i hope you have a good halloween too <laughs> take care thank alana. You. bye